This is going to demonstrate a dental implant. If someone's missing a tooth, what can be placed is an implant. An implant is like an artificial root. If you notice, it looks kind of like a screw. Uh, that's where the root used to be. So this is the artificial root, and that goes up uh, into the jaw underneath the gum line. When the bone has had a chance to grow around that implant and it is locked in there tight, another piece is attached to the implant, and this piece is called an abutment. The abutment is then attached to the implant, and then a crown is made to fit over the abutment. So really there are three components. There's the implant, the abutment, and then the crown that fits over it. In this example, this is a stock abutment. There's another kind called a custom abutment. This is a custom abutment. What makes it a custom abutment is that it is precisely milled specifically for this implant and also milled to fit between the teeth and into the patient's bite. It has a much more natural form so that when the crown is put in place, when it fits over that and is glued into position, it fits evenly between the teeth and the abutment emerges out of the gum line much like a natural tooth would. The parts and pieces involved, and this would be the implant, that, was, and that would be the part that is put into the patient's jaw, like the artificial root. On top of that is going to be placed this piece, which is called an abutment. And that abutment is put in, it's clicked into place, and then inside that hole will be placed a screw that's going to use to attach this abutment to the implant that's underneath it. And then afterwards, um, a crown is then fabricated and is made to fit directly over the abutment, and it is glued into position. And now the patient has got a restored dental arch. And it looks very natural and is, uh, as much to natural, as, as close to natural as we can get these days. Uh, also, a nice benefit of an implant, if you'll notice, the neighboring teeth were not touched. Uh, this is not like a bridge where all three of them are connected together this stands alone and so you keep a single tooth problem, a single tooth solution.